Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and welcome to another weekly Lightroom edit. Now, I shot this image out in China, uh, obviously, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. Uh, and I thought it was really cool, and you guys probably know why, but I, I thought it was really cool because this has got to be one of the most patriotic groups of fishermen I've ever seen. And uh, they're just, they're, their boats are just littered with red and with the uh, Chinese flag and with everything. That was awesome. It was very, very kind of, just had that Chinese feel to it. So uh, I shot the image and uh, let's go over how it was shot. Um, I shot on my Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, once again, shot full raw so I could have my freedom in cropping later on. And then uh, we shot at 1 200th of a second, f2.8 at ISO 200. Uh, and on our 7200 millimeter lens, so zoom back quite far, or standing back quite far, and zoomed all the way in. And the reason why I often do that, even though it's not necessary, these boats weren't that far away. I actually stood back further, uh, was basically just to compress that that background, to pull the background in, and to make it look like these boats were much closer to they are to each other than they actually were. Uh, it, it gives a nice kind of that that lens distortion compression in the background. So that's kind of oftentimes a, a trick that I'll use. So when I shot this image, I'm going to hit I actually to remove my information. When I shot this image, I, I thought this image would look great kind of as, you know, not black and white, but just kind of vintage tone except for the red. I really want that red to pop because that's what this image is kind of all about, just that patriotism and everything like that. So that's how I'm going to produce it. So let's get started. I'm going to adjust my white balance just a tiny bit up to, let's go up to about 5,000. And then let's take our brightness up and start bringing our blacks into the image. Go brightness up a little bit more. That looks about right. I don't really need any fill light. If I add fill light, it's only going to serve to kind of decrease the drama of the image. So I'm not going to add any fill light. Recovery we'll use if we really need to, but right now it looks fine. And the contrast is great. I'm actually going to boost the contrast more. Um, again, there's no faces in the image. There's nothing that I'm really worried about, like, you know, super strong highlights or anything like that. So I don't have a need for recovery, and I can also boost contrast uh, significantly without really worrying about that either. Let's take uh, clarity all up to 100 and see if we have any fringing. Because if we do, I'm going to pull it back. But if not, I want to keep clarity as high as possible without having any fringing. And it looks like about plus 60 is the point where we start getting fringing on this edge right here. So we'll leave it right there. What I'm going to do next is we're going to take our vibrance up. Again, I want the red to be super punchy. We're also going to take up our saturation. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this. I'm not going to leave it this saturated because obviously it doesn't look that great when it's super saturated like this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close up my basic uh, panel now and we're going to go down to the HSL. So right there. And what I'm going to do is basically just pull down the saturation of these other colors. Now the easiest way to do that is just to click on your little adjustment tool right there and then go over a section, click and then drag down and it'll automatically drag those areas down. What I don't want to do is kill all the other color, I just want to pull it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, and what might be easier actually because when you click and drag it's usually affecting one to two colors at a time and I want it to kind of affect them evenly. So I'm just going to pull down the yellows, I'm going to pull down the greens, I'm going to pull down the blues a little bit, and then the you know, we can, purples and magentas, you don't really have that much of, so it doesn't really matter if you drop them significantly. Um, we do want to keep the oranges, because if you notice, if we pull down the oranges, it affects the reds. So we want to keep the oranges, and we want to maybe even boost it just a tiny bit. And then I might want to boost the reds just a tiny bit. All right, and then we're going to pull a little bit more of the yellow, a little bit more of the blue out. Get this looking very, a little more of the aqua out. There we go. And right about there, it's cool. I, I like that. It has it still has some of the color in it, but again, it's very kind of just poppy, and, and you see that red just all over the place. So let's do a little more, make this image a little bit more gritty. So I'm going to go down to my detail, and let's enhance and sharpen the image. So let's zoom in on a, a point so we can see where it's at. And we'll start again with my defaults and see where we're at from there. Okay, I like that. I'm going to go even higher because, again, I want this image to be very, very gritty, very uh, just kind of super sharp and, and a lot of detail to it. So that's great on the sharpening. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to add an, a, a brush. We're going to do a, an adjustment brush to increase that detail. So let's reset it by holding Alt and click on Reset. And then we're just going to basically increase clarity to 100, increase sharpness a little bit more. And we're going to go right over these boats. 
Again, I'm going to remove it from the edges where the highlights are because I don't want it to be affecting those sides. I don't want it to be basically fringing right there, so we're just going to pull it out right here. I actually do want to cover this flag, though, so I'm just going to make this smaller and just go over the flag. That looks fine. I'm going to do one more time, one more pass. And you can see how it's just kind of like creating that, it just kind of makes it jump out. It's a really nice effect. Um, I love it for kind of very journalistic shots like this that you want to just really kind of look kind of crunchy and poppy. That looks great. We're going to close that up. Let's go down to our noise. I want to add some noise to this image. Again, I want it to be kind of gritty, so we're going to go down to the effects panel and we're going to add some grain. Let's zoom in just so we can kind of see it. And let's start. We'll start with about plus 60. I want the size to be a little bit smaller and the roughness to be a little bit smaller as well. And let's zoom out see if it's noticeable. Yeah, looks great right there. Okay, now last thing I want to do is go back up to my graduated filters. And again, I'm going to hit Alt to reset. And what I like to do is oftentimes is just kind of adjust exposure around the image to pull the uh, attention into the center. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to add a couple brushes. So I'm going to add one right here, going from the bottom to, up to about the base of the boat. So the midpoint goes up to about the base of the boat. And then we're going to adjust the exposure down just to the point where it, I mean, we want it to obviously still look natural, so I don't want it to look too much. So about 0 0.88, 0 0.78 is around where I want it. Again, we're going to do the same thing from the top, pull it down so that the midpoint touches just kind of like the horizon line. And then we're going to pull that back a little bit too. And again, not too much, only want a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with this kind of stuff, so always keep a very subtle kind of hand when you're adjusting these kind of things. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more so it looks a little more natural. It's okay if the tops of the boats darken a tiny bit. It won't be very noticeable. Okay, let's last thing go down to our lens corrections. And uh, I think I'm going to reverse the vignette just a tiny bit and then pull in the midpoint. Let's pull in a little bit less and do a little bit less on here. All right. And that looks great where it's at. If I want, I can add a little bit of split toning where I might just put a little bit of blues into my shadows just to give it a nice little... Uh, kind of added a little touch to it. it. It adds just a nice, I don't even know how to describe it, um, but I like to oftentimes add a little bit of blues and then a tiny bit of maybe yellows into the highlights. It kind of gives it a very uh, editorial feel, I feel like, so it's something that I like to do, but this is up to you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. It looks great. Let's check out the before and the after. Here's the before, and here is our after, that nice, super poppy, very patriotic fisherman boat. Alright guys, enjoy and we'll see you with the next tutorial.